As we look at performance testing beef cattle in Alabama, uh, one of the important parts is getting proper weaning weights on our calves. And as the industry goes towards source identification, trying to tie these calves back to their uh, genetics, to the sires and dams, uh, we look at uh, getting these weaning weights. And it's real important of getting proper weaning weights and, and uh, the correct weights. So today we're looking at some of the uh, opportunities in increasing the profitability in our cow herds. We know within individual herds as much as 150 pounds spread in the weaning weights, and that equates over into a lot of dollars in our pockets. So we want to identify these cattle that's putting the lower weights in and get them out of our herds to increase our profit potential. Today we're going to be looking at uh, setting up two different types of scales uh, for folks that might not have the expertise of using these scales from day to day. One will be an uh, electronic set of scales on a, a portable squeeze chute and the other will be a portable set of paw scales that a lot of counties have that they let their producers uh, lease or use uh, in their operations. And we're going to go through the steps of set, properly setting these up and making sure we're getting correct weights so the data that when it goes through the BCIA program will be correct. With scales and the transport position, push the scales in line with the squeeze chute or working lane that will be used to move the cattle onto the scales. The surface area needs to be level so the scale does not rock from side to side during weighing. Rocking will lead to inaccurate weights and the possibility of the scale tipping over with cattle inside the scale. Remove the safety pins from the arms that hold the scales onto the wheels during transit. There will be a pin on both tires. Manually wrench the cable so the transit arms can be flipped backwards to lower the scales. Then release the cable slowly until the scales are on the surface and there is slack in the cable. Keep a firm grip on the winch handle to prevent injury to your hand in case it slips off the handle. Be sure the scales are not in contact with the squeeze chute or post at the end of the working lane. Contact will not allow the scales to float freely when weighing cattle and will result in inaccurate weights. If the working area is under a building, check the rear gate of the scales. Make sure the rear gate can be raised high enough to allow cattle to enter the scale. Remove the safety pins that secure the hitch during transit. Then remove the hitch and place it away from the working area for safety of animals and workers during weighing. Release the two lock bars that secure the scale platform during transit. The lock bars are located on the base of the scales on the side that has the weigh beam frame. Make sure the scales are floating freely from side to side. Lift up the frame that holds the weigh beam. Insert the weigh beam from left to right of the frame and hook the cable from the base of the scales to the weigh beam. Make sure the knives of the V-shaped section on the weigh beam fits in the grooves on the frame. Hook the scale part that holds the extra weights to the weigh beam at the right end of the weigh beam. This is the most important step. Make sure the scales are balanced before weighing any cattle. To check balance, slide the weigh bar to the far left of the weigh beam so the point of the weigh bar rests at zero pounds. Check to see if the weigh beam is floating midway of the slot located at the far side of the weigh frame. If not, look at the weight at the far left of the weigh beam that is secured on a threaded rod by wing nuts. If the weigh beam is at the bottom of the slot, loosen the wing nut on the left side and move the weight on the rod to the left until the weigh beam floats to the center of the slot. Then tighten both wing nuts. If the weigh beam is at the top of the slot, loosen the wing nut on the right side and move the weight on the rod to the right until the weigh beam floats to the center of the slot. Then tighten both wing nuts. Once the scales are balanced, cattle can be weighed. When an animal is on the scales, move the weigh bar to the right until the weigh beam is floating midway of the slot, just as it was when balanced. Read the weight at the far left side of the weigh bar. 
Most scales are calibrated on five pound increments. Therefore, each mark on the way beam is for five pounds. Carefully record the calf identification and weight. Make sure your hands are not on the weigh box while weighing. Make sure cattle are not forced too tight in the lane behind the scale. Otherwise, they may come into contact with the scale and cause an inaccurate weight. If you need to collect hip height measurements for determining frame score, a narrow board that has the inches marked from the floor of the scales can be used to measure calves as they enter the scale. This board should be securely attached to the side of the scale box and to the right of the way frame. Calves need to be measured just in front of the hooks. Alternatively, a hip height measuring tool is available from some farm supply stores and most farm supply catalogs. When all the cattle have been weighed, the scales can be prepared for transit following the reverse order that was used to prepare them for weighing. Be sure to remove the weigh beam and to lock the bars that prevent the scale from floating freely during transit. Failure to do this will cause excessive wear on the weigh cables under the floor of the scales. If you have borrowed the scales, make sure the weigh beam is returned with the scale. Firmly lock the scale platform. Make sure both rear and front latches are engaged. Reattach the towing hitch, ensuring all safety pins are firmly seated. Scales will either have two or three safety pins, depending on the particular model and manufacturer.